Hi there, I'm Dr. Angela Loria, the author incubator, and I'm joined today by my guest, Alana Davidson. Alana, thank you for being here. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you, Angela. So we are talking today about your book, Finding Your Own Happy, A Soul Searcher's Guide to Peace and Happiness in Everyday Life. So I want to know everything about this book, but I have to say my favorite part is the idea of soul searchers, this tribe of people finding themselves out there. Tell us about finding your own happy and tell us about the soul searchers that you work with. Sure. So I would consider myself a soul searcher. Me too. And for some people, that's like a really joyful, pleasant journey. And for other people, we are drawn to this soul searching because there's something missing, something we can't figure out. And for me and a lot of the people that I work with, we've done all this soul searching, all this personal development, spiritual work. We've done the yoga, the meditation, the spiritual practices. And we wonder why, after all this personal development, why are we still not happy? What Mm. is missing? And some of the things that seem to work for other people, it's like they they do this one thing and they're off and running. Oh, have you ever tried meditation? Right. It's just just like, you know, or or you just need to work on your thoughts and your Mm. mindset. If you just work on your mindset, then you can be happy. I spent, I grew up in this culture of, of personal development. And after probably about 20 years of looking at my stuff and being one of the most self-reflective people I know, I was like, okay, what gives? I still have this heaviness around me. I still don't feel happy. There must be something else mm. because I struggled with depression, sometimes at the point of feeling like I didn't want to live anymore. And yet, if I'm doing all this work on myself, like what am I missing that I'm not, I'm not getting it? So, so why write a book about that? That sounds like a really rough journey. Where did it turn around well, for you? And- so, right, after all of this soul searching, right, and, and coming up sort of short over and over again, I discovered a few things that really made a difference for me. And I can say I haven't been suicidally depressed in many years. I am mostly happy. And when I'm not happy, I know exactly what to do to turn it around so I come back to being happy. So I know we want people to read this book, and you can, of course, find it on Amazon, but can you give us a hint? What's a tip or two, a piece of advice, something you share in this book that really changed things for you? Sure. One of the biggest things, one of the biggest realizations for me is that I was actually very perceptive and aware of what was going on around me, but I wasn't realizing it. So I could feel my mom's sadness, even at a distance. But before recognizing that it was awareness, I just thought I was sad. I thought I had all these feelings that I didn't know what to do with, and I didn't know how to fix, and I tried to fix them, and they just never went away. They never went away because they're actually awareness, and you can't make your awareness go away. If you're aware of something, it's going to be like there. Like they weren't even yours. They're not even mine. So if I'm trying to get over being sad, but really what I'm picking up on is the sadness of the people around me, there's always going to be sad people in the world. So I'm, I'm going to continue to experience it. And that was a fundamental shift for me to recognize, oh, much of what I experienced. And I'd say like a small sliver now is like, this is me and mine. And the rest really. Okay. I have to know, was that an epiphany, like a lightning bolt moment? Or was it like something you realized slowly over time? There was a few wake up moments where I really got it and I saw how, how it was showing up in my life and oh, wow, all of this stuff that I thought was mine and all this upset. I was dating this guy and uh, walked and broke up with him, walked into his family house, and it's like this wave of emotion hit me. I was like, oh, all of those tears that I had the whole summer I was dating him were actually not mine. They were everything in this family that I was feeling. And I could feel it as soon as I walked in the door. And then I, like, I was feeling fine until I w- walked in the door. So that was really an epiphany moment. And then over time, it's been developing the skills and tools. I was going to say, do you think this is something? Do you think this is something people can learn? It's like you can you can get the concept very quickly. Then learning how to separate out what is yours and what's not, and then also how to work. You might even know that it's not yours, but it still affects you very deeply. So learning how to differentiate and then what to do with that once you know it. So like, I might 
know that I'm feeling my mom's sadness, but it doesn't make a difference that in how you I still feel, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> until I gain some extra tools that help me learn how to manage that and work with it. Wow. So fascinating. Well, if you are connecting with this, if you're wondering, how do I learn more? Alana, how can people find you? Well, I would love to share my book with you in it. I give many more examples and then some of the tools that will help you learn to go from just perceiving that you're sensitive to actually learning how to work with it. So it becomes actually a skill and a gift that you Mm. can have rather than something that feels like people feel like, oh, I hate it. I'm too sensitive. It's so overwhelming. Um, But if you get a copy of my book, which I'd be happy to give to anybody who's watching this, you can gain some of those tools to, to really turn your experience around. Just send me an email, alana at divineessencecoaching.com, and I'll be happy to ke- connect you up with the free book. Awesome. So it's Alana, E-L-A-N-A, yes, yes. at divineessencecoaching.com. Amazing. Thank you for that generous gift and yes. for being my guest today. Thank you.